Welcome to day one of my attempt to get a 90% acceptance rate on Uber. Not Uber Eats, but as an Uber X driver. My name is John from Ride Upstate. If you are not familiar with me, I am a part time driver in upstate New York, and I cherry pick the heck out of the rides that I normally do. Um, but I wanted to see, now that my acceptance rate is down to 48% and my cancellation rate <laughs> is up to 14%, how long it would take me, number one, to get to 70% acceptance rate, and then with a goal after that of getting to 90% acceptance rate, and then what it would take to get that cancellation rate down. Most of what comes my way, if I'm not on a destination filter, I am very, very choosy. And you're going to see why later on in this video, uh, why that is. When I started on this journey on Sunday, September 3rd, I had a 4.99 star rating, an acceptance rate of 48%, and a cancellation rate of 14%. Unfortunately, I don't have all of the screenshots to show you that, um, but you'll see where I got to later on. I did 15 rides total on Sunday afternoon into the early evening, which is honestly as many as I normally do in a week. I do a lot of airport runs and those pay quite well, and so I don't have to do a ton of trips. So I want to highlight a few of the rides and talk about why I accepted them or why I rejected them. I will say that there's one trip that I did not manage to get screenshotted, uh, so uh, you'll just have to take my word for it. I'm sure the data is there somewhere in Uber's uh, vast servers that are tracking us all, but I have no way of accessing it. So the first trip that was offered to me was, of course, a long-distance pickup. That happens a lot here in upstate New York. So I accepted it just to kind of get the ball rolling. It was decent money, and I was kind of hoping to get into an area that would be surging later on, that I knew would be surging later on. Um, and so I was willing to take that trip. About 10 minutes into the trip, uh, the rider canceled. So I got $4.21 for that as a cancellation fee. Trip started rolling in. They were rolling in just fine. I got a, I had one woman who was changing her shirt in the back seat of my car. So I had to like, you know, quickly look in the rear view mirror and stuff while I was driving along. Uh, I got a long trip, uh, which we'll talk about later and, and kind of some of the parameters around this. One thing that I always do when I accept a trip is I immediately go in and mark it so that I go offline, that this is the last ride that I'm going to take. And a couple times when I did this, because it was very busy in my market, rides still came through. I was not happy about that, but no big deal. Uh, one of those rides was a trip down to Jamaica, New York, which is a three-hour drive into Queens from where I live was $466. Now, granted, money-wise, that's a pretty good deal, but I have to come back, and I wasn't about to take that, and I didn't have six hours to drive, especially at like six o'clock at night. I wasn't going to get home till midnight. No, not going to happen. If I had a whole day to kill, and I could convince the passenger to pay some cash up front for me to come back, I would have taken the trip. But unfortunately, this was not, I've never done one this long, and I don't think I'll ever do a trip that long. Uh, this, the circumstances just aren't right, which is why I say I'm aiming for 90% acceptance rate and not 100, because a 100% acceptance rate is just impossible in my market, unless I'm willing to do three, four, five-hour trips. All right, I moved the car so the sun wouldn't be in my face. I, I wish I had gotten that screenshotted. I'm going to try to do better to get more screenshots of trips. But let me give you a few stats from, uh, from the night. I did 15 total trips. Seven of them tipped. One was a cash tip. 
And most of the trips were under five miles. I made a total of $170 in five and a half, not even five and a half, 5.3 hours of driving. That includes all the time that I was online, when I went and got something to eat, when I went to the bathroom, all my breaks, 5.3 hours. And let's see the mileage. I drove 136 miles to earn $170. So what did all that do for my ratings? Well, I went from a 48% acceptance rate to a 50% acceptance rate and a 14% cancellation rate to a 12% cancellation rate. As you can see here, I did accept nine of the last 10 rides that I did. So yeah, I rejected the long distance ride. I'm going to keep doing this. I don't know how often I'm going to update on this because like I said, normally I don't um, do a lot of driving. It's very little. It's usually two, three rides a day. Um, and like I said, 15 rides is more than I typically do in a week. So I will keep you posted. I am going out on day. I'm going to go out for day two. Uh, the Monday, the night, the the fourth in the morning, and see what happens. Maybe some airport trips. You know, maybe people who are working on Labor Day that need to get to work. They don't often tip, but hey, it's rides to get the acceptance rate up. So, until next time, I'm John from Ride Upstate, reminding you that just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.